Hello friends! I continue my skid steer build and in the last video I cut and assembled the frame of the cab and realized that I had made a mistake with the height of the seat. It used to be way lower, now it stands on a plastic box <laughs> and it should be raised to this height to improve the view around and most importantly to see the front edge of the bucket. And in this case I definitely need to make a shock absorbing stand. I initially wanted to make it, but uh, the hydraulic motors were right under the seat and uh, there was no enough space uh, for the shock absorber. So I delayed this issue in case of um, further improvements. And now this case has come, so let's get started. I'll start with this sub-assembly, there will be two such details. All right, after some uh, assembling and tech welding, I've got such a detail and made some thing <laughs> from the metal pieces I had in stock. By the way, if you know how does it called, please write me in the comments section. Um, I put bushings and metal pieces here and tech weld them. And I made it because I have to make totally equal second detail. So now I have to make an upper and lower plate. But first of all, I have to clean up all the dirt and metal dust out of the plasma cutting machine so that the airflow doesn't raise it during cutting. Ta-da! <laughs> All right, this is the design that turned out. As a basis, I took a shock absorbing rack for both seats and used a shock absorber from an old, a very old bicycle. Uh, so I think it turned out great. And now it's time to move on.
Woohoo! To be honest, first fitting of the door frame was exciting, but everything went good. Here's how it works. Here's how it looks from the inside. There will also be a lock on the mechanism to prevent accidental lowering of the door in case of an abrupt stop or any fluctuations. The door frame itself doesn't fit closely to the doorway because there will be a glass, sealing rubber bands and sealant. Currently, the cabin is simply assembled into several tech welds and is not fixed on the body of the loader. And this is why I haven't yet exposed the caps, because first the cabin must be welded up and clearly installed in its place, and only then comes the door. So, the door fits, moves as expected, which I'm very happy about. And now with a calm soul, I put the door in pause and move on. All right, guys, my brand new wooden flooring is ready. Here it is. And the thing is, my concrete floor in my workshop has a step, a huge step here and a door step. And even I, if I remove it, uh, there is a hump here. So in order to make uh, the way out of the workshop flat, I decided to make such flooring. It has a metal frame that is uh, fixed right to the concrete floor and only then comes uh, wooden flooring. And I hope it will be okay when my skid steer will leave the workshop. All right, it seems that everything is ready, but I want to uh, make sure that uh, this flooring will be okay under the loader. So I want to uh, drive it on here and watch if the flooring will be okay and if yes then I will remove this uh, door step and drive outside. Guys, I don't know what to do, because uh, everything I could do is uh, turned the loader from this position to this. And the belt became badly damaged. One minute before, it was undamaged. And look at this. Here.
So friends, two days of tests have passed. The loader goes back and forth without any problems. Uh, the boom and bucket also move well. Problems occur precisely when turning. Under low, this plate bends, the belt slides and gets damaged. I was told earlier that this is an unreliable solution, and now I'm convinced of this. Well, it's better to fix it now in the workshop than later while working on the loader outside. This decision caused a lot of strong emotions. Nevertheless, I have already ordered a tandem pump. I will put it without a reduction right on the engine shaft. And as soon as I receive the package, I will start the rework. Friends, some time has passed since previous piece of video has been filmed. During this time, my grandpa and three days after, my husband's mom, I also used to call her mom, have passed away. Mom had a record, uh, grandpa was sick, couldn't walk himself for a long time. So now their suffering has come to an end. But it's hard for those who stayed. And now we uh, need some time to be with our families. Uh, so this video ends. Don't forget to take care of yourself and your loved ones. See you later.